Yeah, didn't that have Stay Woke in it? Nah, that's the same person. Childish Gambino. Peace, 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 peace. Good morning. It's Friday. What's today? The 29th, the 30th? Somewhere school about to start. So this this pretty much the back to school run this morning. Come dash with us. So it's me, Jaquan and Kwa in the car. Peace. It's, you ready for school? That's what's up. Well, uh, six. It's about six, seven o'clock in the morning. We're on our way out to New Brunswick. It's a different DoorDash area that I never dashed in, but I've been wanting to dash in. But I woke up and I seen it was six dollars on the dasher. It's four dollars extra from seven thirty to ten thirty. It's gonna be four dollars extra. All we gotta do is complete two orders and keep a completion ratio over eighty percent. So my completion ratio always up. I don't not complete orders and completing two that shouldn't be a problem within that amount of time what's that three hours it's three hours three hours let's try and make like twenty dollars an hour at least let's try and get out of here with sixty dollars three hours worth of work when we get up there the things we're worried about in that area is people going to work traffic like the traffic shouldn't die down to about 9 30 and then you only got an hour left to work so we got to battle through this traffic for the first two hours of this leg and we got to get this slow-ass joke in front of us out the way. Oh, my goodness. Drive, yo. It's like it's too early in the morning. You're afraid to. It's Friday. You're afraid. It's Friday. Joker's got to work. Anyway. So now I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much full-time DoorDash. Let me explain what went down. So as we know, back in January, I blew my knee out at work. So I've been on workers' comp, and then when you on workers' comp, you kind of can't do too much of nothing except what the doctors say and this, that, and the other. They've been paying me a couple of dollars here and there. So once I got the surgery in March, it was feeling good, and then it started deteriorating again. They telling me I might need a new knee replacement, but I'm too young to get it. Either way, the beat go on. The bills don't stop. So I started dabbling around making T-shirts messing with the press and started that going on. So that's one stream of income. Then I've been door dashing. That's two streams of income. And then fantasy football coming up. Depending if I win, that's going to be another stream of income. So now my whole thing is I'm going to have to jump on unemployment real quick. Go to school. I um, think I'm going to go for graphic design to match this t-shirt thing. And I also want to do some motivational speaking. Try and get my degree real quick while they paying for it. Which I pay for because I put the money into it. Unemployment. So that they can pay. And my taxes pay for it. So I'm paying for my own education. So don't let them jokers try and fool you. I'm talking about jokers getting handouts and this, that. Nah, I've been working ever since I've been home. I've been home since 2006. And I ain't missed, I ain't missed too much work since then. I've been working the whole time in various jobs because jokers don't like to hire us ex-cons. We matter, though. But still. So, I'm about to flip this thing and make money with it. And, you know, it's crazy. It's like I'm saying freedom because I'm not shackled by an employer. I'm my own employer. Like, I woke up this morning and picked these hours. I woke up this morning and jumped on this. I was scheduled for later. I'm still scheduled for later. But, we got to get this. We got to get extra sneaker money. This joker wear. This shoe started $200. This joker shoe $60 to $100. JJ, $150 and up. I ain't even talking about my shoes. I got to wear what I got. Then we got haircuts. These jokers is $20 a head. Got to get some extra money. So we get out here and do some extra work. We raise this window up. We probably can't. So I say by the time we get to South Brunswick, we're going to turn the dash on. There ain't no traffic out here right yet. That's good. So we get to South Brunswick quick. Get over to South Brunswick, turn the dash on, find a hot spot. That's that's one of the problems way about. I don't know the area, so I don't know the hot spots. But if it's New Brunswick area to Woodbridge, I'm going to chill probably not downtown New Brunswick. No. I don't know. Whatever the hotspot say, that's where I'm going to start off at. 
and then I'm gonna find my own stuff. We wanna see if we can make twenty dollars an hour, twenty twenty five dollars. We got the extra six dollars coming too. So we we'll see how much money we make today in this different market. Now if this market popping like this in the morning, we gonna try and steal this market. We we'll try and stay up here. But you gotta remember, oh, we gotta get some gas. We traveling, we traveling what twenty five miles from the house to get to this market. The good thing is, my mama live in Plainfield. And nine times out of 10, if you go to my mama house on a Friday morning, there's some pancakes, some oatmeal, or something on that stove. So we ain't got to worry about eating. You know, I hit Dunkin' Donuts, give them a little coffee. They got their sandwiches. Well, I'm going to eat at my mama house a little later. The traffic is starting to pick up. Here come that morning commute. Uh, let me pay attention to my driving and put a damn seatbelt on. I'm being a bad influence. But we're going to see how much money we make today. Come drive with me. 